We are waiting for this guy. Not for that guy, though. Okay, he's waiting for us, so let's... Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another FSD beta driving video. Now, we do have, um, what, 9-minute drive, 4.1 miles. Looks like we're going to take the freeway, get off, and then go down. Is that a U-turn? Oh, my God. We might be doing a U-turn today. Ooh, we'll see. It always used, likes to navigate away from U-turns once we get there, so I don't know. But... Route with no traffic data because this area sucks for connectivity, at least with AT&T. My phone's working fine, but that's on Verizon. Um, I'm going to try to navigate out of this space and just go, but this right next to us is a Suburban LTZ. No, it's actually a Tahoe. It looks kind of big, though. Okay, a Tahoe Chevy. A Chevy Tahoe LTZ, and it's she parked like three times in order to get in there, and I feel like she's kind of close. Okay, maybe not. Bill's close. The girl, my, this car right here, she's like far away. So it's kind of weird. It looks like it's going to try to go left. Although we have to go out. I think we're going that way, right? Yeah, out that entrance over there or exit. And I mean, so far it's not letting me engage. Hmm, give it a couple seconds. Sometimes it pops up. I, mean, I guess technically it's trying to figure out where to go. You know, I'm going to give it a little bit of a head start. I mean, it's kind of hard to get out of here. Like I was saying, it's a pretty tight little area. I don't know why it wants to go left when we're supposed to go right to get out of here. The red car turning in. As you see, it's very tight here. Okay, I can engage it now. Okay, we got cars here. There's a guy crossing the street He's waiting for the cars. This guy was trying to hit me. Let me creep up a little bit. All right, it's waiting for him to cross. This car's trying to turn. As you can see, like I was saying, it's a tight area. All right, we're waiting for this guy. Not for that guy, though. Okay, he's waiting for us, so let's give it a little bit of a go-ahead here. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Good thing that guy was on the sidewalk. All right, now we're off. We have an unprotected right turn here, stopping right behind the stop sign. Good. We do have to creep up quite a bit for visibility because there are some bushes, but it's completely clear. And we're off to the races. It gets congested here too, so honestly surprised nobody's here right now. But we are going to merge onto the freeway. And right here, this is an interesting freeway. There's a, a street next to it that, you know, you can just drive down to get to the next street. We're turning very slow here. And stopping, I just accelerated a little bit. Got the sun in my face. That means autopilot has the sun in its face. He's speeding up. That's what I usually do when I drive down here. I always speed up really fast and then cut everybody off <laughs> to get on the freeway. It's like I was saying, you go, oh, I guess we're not getting on the freeway. Okay. It's not navigating to the freeway. It's going to skip the freeway here. So I think you can see we're. So, okay. So see, it did get rid of the U turn. Unless I'm wrong, but I think it completely re navigated everything. So we're going to get off here without getting on the freeway and make a left turn. All right. So that, that's something. Drive in there by yourself. So it's understandable. 
Although, to be fair, it was waiting for the truck that was trying to turn right, but, you know, it was a big truck, and we had to move out of the way so we could make that turn. But I was waiting for him, even though he was turning right, and I'm pretty sure he had his signal on, so it's kind of weird. He should have been like, oh, wait, we're in the way, or he's turning right so we can go, and it's clear other than that. But, well, you know, in the future, hopefully. I mean, eventually. Right? Yeah, pretty sure. So let's see, about a quarter mile. Alright, we're gonna be turning right, right where that car's pulling out. Alright, signaling, getting over. And turning right. Oh, close to the left. Actually, it was a bit close to the left, but, you know, made it. No harm, no foul. Looks like we're going to be turning right in about half a mile. That was a pretty easy drive. I mean, we didn't have that much traffic around. There's a tree right here. What's it going to do here? It is. Oh, it, so it did see something and it I mean I guess I was expecting it to go a little bit further away but I guess because it can map out where it is it only went enough to get away from it because we didn't touch it but it felt like it was really close so you know different thing like our perspective as a human we're looking at it we're like oh we better get way over here so we don't touch that thing but it can see the outside with the cameras and everything so it's like okay we're good we just gotta get over like an inch yeah so that's always good it just feels a bit scary when you're inside, you're like, it's gonna hit that thing. This damn sun, I hate it. Alright, and now we're gonna be turning right, someone's turning left. Why is it giving him the right away? Okay, I'm gonna accelerate because we obviously have the right away here, I don't know why it was stopping for him. I mean, he wasn't moving, and plus we're turning right, and if he's just sitting there, we're supposed to go. Now, if he starts going, then he better move, but, you know. Okay, we didn't slow down for this divot right there in the road, although it wasn't bad. What the hell's this? Some birds and some garbage. <laughs> they moved out of the way. All right, a little bit blind turn here, but we made it. Now we're gonna be turning left. It's coming to a stop. See right here, you wouldn't normally stop when you can see that it's clear, but it did. That's the first time I've seen a semi-truck backed into a driveway at a house. There's a lot of garbage here. And it looks like we arrived now we're here okay so overall you know pretty good drive I mean other than the parking lot situation stopping right there on that turn and then stopping for the guy turning left while we were turning right you know it was a good drive I mean it was a very simple not too much traffic or anything but everything that happened was fairly good went around that tree I was gonna try to parallel park somewhere but I don't see enough cars close enough to each other for it to do it but, you know, it is what it is. You guys let me know how you, what you guys thought of that drive, what you think should be improved, what you think it did well, and stay tuned for the next one.